With over 30 years of experience in the automobile business, I can tell you that sport utilities are so easy to sell. So why is it so difficult to sell vehicles? Don't you want to know what vehicles sell quickly? Missing out on what I'm about to say is going to cost you thousands of dollars in commission. Automotive salespeople oftentimes make it very difficult to sell. Why? Because they skip too many steps. Starting from the meet and greet, they go out in the lot and say, can I help you? That's a real strong first impression. They don't do a needs assessment. They just ask the customer what they want to buy and then they show them a car. And then they bring them in and they start discussing price with them. That's ridiculous. You got to follow the steps, every step, from the meet and greet, a wonderful meet and greet, welcome a customer to your dealership, ask them if they've spoken to anybody, tell them that you're there to assist them and help them select a vehicle, get them in the showroom and do a great needs assessment. Determine their true value drivers by asking the right questions, especially today with all the research that they can do. One of the first questions you should ask them is what research have you done? If they're interested in a particular vehicle, one of the first things you should ask them is what made you interested in this or what, what drove you towards this particular vehicle. How about this one? What inspired you to contact our dealership or come by our dealership? You ask those questions and that's going to take you down the road to sell more cars. The problem is that you just make it tougher on yourself because you skip many of those steps. So review the steps and become a master at selling cars by following a certain sequence of steps that lead you down the road to the sale. It's just that simple. So I'm often asked, what's the easiest customer to sell? The easiest customer to sell is the person that did their research because they already know stuff. And it's easy to sell them if you start asking the right questions I mentioned earlier. Start asking them what research have they done. Start asking them what inspired them to look at this particular vehicle. What do they like most about the vehicle they're driving? What do they like least about the vehicle they're driving? What do they want to see differently? Remember I mentioned that the sports utility is the easiest and quickest car to sell because they're a lot of fun to drive. And people are just tired of driving a car down the highway. They want something that's fun. They want to be able to load their family in it. They want to be able to load their golf clubs in it and their luggage and all this stuff. And they want to go on nice trips and a nice smooth ride. That's why sports utilities are the easiest vehicle to sell. You gotta get inside the customer's head by asking the right questions. Once again, following the steps to the sale. Stop avoiding the steps to the sale. You have to have a willingness to follow those steps. You have to determine where the customer is in their buying process. For example, everybody starts with an awareness stage. Hey, I want a car. I don't know what prompted it. Maybe it was an advertisement. Maybe the neighbor got a new car. Maybe they saw a car parked next to them at a red light, who knows? But the next step is the discovery stage, where they're discovering the type of vehicle they want. They're discovering who they want to do business with. And then it comes to a decision stage, and you've got to guide them along from that discovery stage to that decision stage. Once again, by following a sequence of steps. And once you land the customer on a car, you've got to present that car with all the enthusiasm you have. And you've got to bring back all the things that they said to you that they want in their next car while you're presenting that vehicle to them. And after that demo drive, you've got to get them inside, and you've got to discuss the price with them with confidence. And you will be confident because you followed the road to the sale. You know, during the pandemic, it was pretty easy to sell a car. If you had it in stock, they bought it. Now it's a little more difficult. Now that inventory is getting a little stronger, more cars are being available. People come in and look up at discounts and stuff. The selection's out there now. It's not as if that car is there and you want it, you gotta buy it. If, if you don't buy it, it's gonna be gone. You can't be doing that anymore. So we gotta get back to the basics of selling. You gotta work smart. Now, you don't have to necessarily work so hard. You just gotta work smart. And smart working, again, I, I keep stressing it, it's following a process. Don't skip the steps. I can review the steps with you real quickly. Meet and greet, welcome to my dealership. My name's Jerry Gould. Have you been here before? Have you spoken to anybody here at the dealership? Customer says no, say great. I have an opportunity to share information with you. Would that be okay? Customer says sure, that's fine. Let's go in the showroom. Tell me all about the car you're interested in. Sit him down and start asking those questions. You know, what prompted you to come to our dealership? What prompted you to, to look at this particular vehicle? What are you driving now? What do you like most about what you're driving now? What don't you like? What would you like to see change in what you're driving now? Do you have kids riding along? Do you have pets riding along? Determine things about the car so when you get to the presentation stage, you can show them the vehicle and point out all those features, benefits, advantages that they shared with you during your needs assessment. Get them in the car, do a quick demo drive, make them comfortable in the car, and then get them back to the showroom, get them inside, get with your manager and give them a price. That's how you sell cars today. You don't just take, become an order taker, you gotta follow the steps. It's not so much working hard, it's just working smart. So go out there and sell some cars. Until next time, go get them.